Do you feel like Twitter is such a constant machine? Like you have to show up every day, maybe you're spending more than two hours a day on Twitter, tweeting, replying to people, doing all sorts of things, and you're feeling overwhelmed because not only you're building your business or your product, but maybe you have a full-time job. So how do you handle this? And how do you save time from all of this? So in this video, I wanna show you a tool called HypeFurry and how I use it to save almost more than six hours of my time every single week on Twitter. Well, how do I get six hours? I still remember when I first started out, I spent two hours every single day on Twitter. And now I spend two hours every Monday to write my tweets and then half an hour every day to engage with people. And that's how I get six hours. It is such a big time saver that I want you to have it as well. I've been on Twitter for about 24 months now and I've grown my followers from zero to 16,000 right now. But honestly, I'm not here to tell you any growth hacks or secret sauce. I'm just here to share with you a software that can take care of some of the basic things I need to do it manually on Twitter. Okay, if you're ready, let's jump into it. First of all, this is the software that I'm talking about. It's hypefurry.com and you can go to the website yourself. The first thing I wanna share with you is actually just a nice drag and drop UI design. So I have come into here and write my tweets. So I'm talking about like Elon Musk taking over Twitter and my quick four views. Right, so I've scheduled some of my tweets here. And oftentimes when I wanna talk about my products like right now, I would come in here and say, hey, actually this tweet, I don't need to do it today. Maybe I can drag it to next Monday. And then I would add a new tweet today about, hey, maybe I'm asking for feedback about my book cover. So I'll just type my tweet here and I'll just add it to the queue. So I've tried out a lot of these Twitter tools and none of them are as intuitive as HypeFurry because now I can just drag things around. And a lot of people, when they think about scheduling tweets, they would just add more and more to the queue or they would just go to Twitter and say, I'm going to tweet more because I feel like I wanna say something now. And then they would go here. But for me, I don't do it because I don't believe in tweeting more in a day. I basically just come here, slot it into my predefined schedule and then let it go out. So I make sure I stay on my schedule. And if I don't like it, I can always come back and say, hey, Elon Musk, come back to my 9.44 p.m. slot. The second thing I really like about HypeFurry that saves me a lot of time is something called recurrent posts. So obviously my calendar is pretty blank right now, but let's fill it in together later. But first of all, recurrent posts allow you to set up some categories. So here, over the last two years, I've set up multiple categories about my niche. Let me make it bigger so you can see it. For example, I talk about building in public and I have 51 tweets in there. So this is kind of my life's work and all my thoughts, all the things that I wanna share with people, I'll save it in here. I also have things like entrepreneurship with 68 tweets or even something like Twitter with 21 tweets. So now that I have different folders for different categories, I can come here and say, hey, Hype Furry, help me tweet out, you know, entrepreneurship every Monday at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday, I would want building in public to go out. And then maybe every Friday at 8 a.m., I would go out um, with storytelling in public. You see how I've added some time slot on this calendar. And what this function will do is that every friday at 8 a.m it's going to grab a tweet from that folder storytelling in public and put it out there so it will go through the whole folder once and then restart from the beginning and as you can tell because i have more than 200 tweets here if i really want to do it i can you know have lots of things to talk about but the reason why you're seeing an empty calendar right now is because actually now is the time that i feel like I don't really want to reuse my database tweets. I want to show up every day and talk about something fresh. But maybe later on, maybe over Christmas or maybe summer holiday when I'm going on a vacation, I would turn on these tweets again. Number three, I want to tell you a secret where I don't need to tweet more, but I can get two times or three times more impression or replies to my tweets. And let's look at it together. So here you can see uh, 21 hours ago, I tweeted this tweet saying, I'm calling this out, blah, 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 blah. And you can see this little green icon, retweet, right? So obviously I retweeted my own tweets 
which means that I want to bring it back to the feed so that other people can see it. A lot of people don't know this, but whenever you do this, you are leveraging your existing engagement and putting it in front of people. But of course, you don't want to be sitting here and do it manually. So how can Hypefurry help that? Well, if you come to hypefurry.com, you can see the tweet booster setting. I love this function. Basically, you can say after six hours, if the tweet has more than 10 likes, just help me retweet it so that maybe people in a different time zone can see it. That's amazing, right? And then the best part is it will auto unretweet it. So here I say, hey, actually, after certain hours, please help me unretweet it so that when people look at my profile, they won't see that, wow, Kavon is such like a self-promotional person. No, it's going to be clean. You can see all this green icons are gone. If I scroll down a little bit, well, of course, some of them are still here, but most of them are gone. So that is very clean. So this is the best way to not tweet more, but get more impressions for your tweets. All in all, you can see that these features are not super fancy. They basically take away things that I need to do manually, but do it automatically for me. And this is how I can save at least six hours a week to work on my business. Of course, Hypefurry has some fancy features. For example, an integration with Gumroad where you can do like a countdown sales campaign or an auto DM function where you ask people to reply an emoji and then you auto DM people, which is direct message. Well, those are really nice feature as you can see, but usually I like to handle my basics well first because as people say, if you're a chef, you cannot just cook the meal. You need to know how to chop your ingredients as well. Lastly, if you stay until this part of the video, well, Hypefurry is nice enough to share a discount code to us where you can get 50% off for the first three months you subscribe to the software. Well, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and send me a direct message on Twitter, and I'll be happily sharing the discount code with you. Finally, I hope that this video gives you some ideas on how you can save time using Twitter or other social media account, because at the end of the day, you should be the one in control.